All right, this is the 32 inch Speed Fam model B T G W 32. With an Omnicron PLC and a Simrex operator interface. All right, Rod. All right, yeah, so uh, real quick walk around. It's got the updated control on here, of course. Uh, put the uh, static anti-tie down switches down here. And like you mentioned, the Simrex 10 operator interface, which all works fine. And uh, well, while we're up here, you can do the table up and down. Of course, that's just standard here to lower that. That's all good to go. Uh, moving around here, we'll get back to the manual movements here. Uh, we got panel door here with our documentation on the Simrex 10. Anything that's been done to it that way. So operator manual and schematics, uh, everything we need for that for maintenance. And the panel here, well, they pretty much standard. There's that Modicon that you mentioned, uh, PLC with some add-on I/O. It's all everything else is pretty much standard. Oh, except for this, they look like they added a soft start. That's nice. So. We got a soft start on the table, ramps up real nice and slow. The machine is currently wired, uh, I'm, I'm running 460 into this. 460 could probably run on 480. Not a big deal. Okay. Right next to you here, of course, as you pan across. Oh, I'm sorry, it was still down here. Yeah, I do have the water connection. I'll just mention that. This is the receptacle for the uh, media system. There's the water connection. And the Simrex does call out water on, water off. You can turn that on and off right through the control. So that's all good. Of course, this is your media drainage down here. So it's all in pretty good shape. And of course, my air package coming in. And to your left here, we got the four main rings on the lower rack. And up in the box, as you come up here, uh, pads, part holders, carriers, a little bit of everything. Uh, looks like the maintenance department had some... Uh, Bearings in here, all kinds of uh, replacement part seals, all kinds of good stuff. Airline, so good to go there. And uh, yeah, coming around, of course, here is the media bucket. This works, we check that. And as you come up from there, just the standard air package, speed fam, one filter, an oiler. I'm sorry, we gotta, we gotta get some oil in there <laughs> for the cylinders. And uh, that's about it. Come around the front here. Why don't you zoom in up on the uh, Simrex, maybe? And there's two, two, two types of uh, uh, ladders in here. Like each one has four different things you can do. If you go into setup, you can put cycle time. I've got one minute. Next one over is slurry, 100%. I left that alone. And number of plates, which is pretty cool. You can run one, two, three, or four plates, and they're numbered accordingly. I've got all four coming down. And the uh, they call that EW gear. I, I know it's the center gear. And right now, I can, if you go down here, Pete, you can see this gear going up and down to bring in the center gear. See that? The yeah, acorn. Do it again. Yeah, they drive it with the acorn nuts. And uh, that's pretty cool. And that just gives you re reverse rotation on the main ring. So you call that out before the uh, cycle starts, too. So going back where you were, again, number of plates and slurry and then the manual there's like three or four if we got up plates on we can do that right away we got the air up here is on that brings the plates in as you can see down here we're still like in a manual mode and that's how you set all your lights on the side and stuff as long as all our lights are lit like on the side does the machine know the cylinders are down and it gets into automatic mode automatically so so down place on, and my next one over on this window is for the main cage. If you come back up here, there's only a couple of up guard off on. We can hit that down. This one takes a second. They got it going kind of slow, so it has to build a little bit. Sticks a little bit at the top, but it comes down. That's the guard. And same thing, back up again. And then back up with the plates. Uh, right there, plates off. Send those back up, and that's pretty much it. That, that's most of the operator interface right there. It's real, real basic. Work light off and on, don't have. So now that we've played around with it, we're, we're screwed up on here, so I'm gonna reset it and just go back to the main page here. 
and we're good to go. At 20 PSI, one minute. So I'm gonna leave it up high, and as the plates touch down, I'm gonna let it run, and I'm gonna back off on the pressure, just so we don't put a lot of pressure on the plates for no reason at all, because we have no parts in here. So, uh, that's about it. Here we go. You can listen to this thing ramp up and run. Gotta hold this until that cage comes down. I got a little bit of oil on there, so you can get in there. Two of them are touching. It looks like that. A couple of them are hitting. I got like zero pressure on there, though. And while we're running, down here real fast. That looks pretty good. Belt drive. Looks good. Sounds good. It's pretty clean down there. Yep. Come back up here. In about 30 seconds, it'll cycle out and go back up. There it goes. One minute. I think those go back up still, right? Let's see. Yep. Done deal. Want another cycle on there or are you okay? Do one